What's poppin' y'all? It's your girl, Amani Sharifa. What's up? What's goody? What's poppin' y'all? What's poppin'? <laughs> Shout out to all my people. That is story. <laughs> Welcome to your girl channel. What's up, babies? What's good, you are? So, on today's episode, we are going to be talking all about if you are a higher vibrational person, you got to be really careful who you allow into your life as a CPO. Mmm, yes, that's what I said. So, I'm going to be letting y'all know what a CPO is and giving you some really dope advice that can really help you out, babies. So, let's go ahead. We got to have right one into it. Let's get it. Thank you again for tuning back into your girl channel. What's up? What's motherfucking good? Yeah. <laughs> what's poppin', babies? What's good, you are? What's up, my loves? So, on to this episode, like I said, mama, papa, we are going to be talking a really about a really really dope topic we talk all about babies you know you got to be really careful like with who you allow onto your life as a cpo yes girl yes fellas so that's c p o so first let's talk about like what the fuck is the damn cpo and say like what the hell is that you know what i'm saying so cpo it's an acronym that I created <laughs> and it stands for close personal relationships. Yeah, so I'm gonna say that shit one more time for my bitches and my dudes in the back that ain't hard to grow. Close personal relationships that is what a CPU stands for, my loves. Now, this is really, really important because if you are a high vibrational person, babies, like, if you are somebody that, you know, you really consider yourself as a high vibrational person because, you know, as a girl, as a dude, you really, really working on yourself. You know what I'm You really further connecting with Allah, God, the universe, the Lord, the Holy Spirit, the divine, the most high, whatever need, my loves. That you wanna call God? <laughs> Five by me, baby, because God got both the both needs. You know what I'm But by the grace of the Lord of the universe, you're really, really connecting with Him and you know, more of a deeper relationship. You're working on your motherfucking self. You know what I'm Really focus on goals, dreams, aspirations. It's not to say. And I always put this out here. It's not to say that you're perfect, but you know, you really, really, really strive to have that connection with the most high in yourself. You really, really strive, Shane, to hold your motherfucking self accountable to like growing and changing and elevating to become a better man or a better girl over time. You know what I'm saying? So, as you being that kind of person, you are a higher vibrational person. You know what I'm saying? Because you really, really are striving, my loves, to a son, to a higher, more prosperous, divine, more just shame, shame, just better level than what you were. And I'm going to tell you, <laughs> I'm going to tell you, baby, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Eh? Don't ever let nobody motherfucking make you feel like that because you are really trying to strive and trying to become a better man or a better girl. That you ain't saying something's motherfucking wrong with that. Because a lot of times people will try to project their inner bullshit out onto other people. You know what I'm saying? So if, if somebody is not like, let's say somebody's not really working on themselves and they're not on more of a higher vibration, it 
could be a case where, and not everybody, but some people can, you know, try to project that onto you to make you feel like that as a more higher vibrational person that you're doing something wrong. And that's not the truth, baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just not the case at all. So, when it comes to being just overall a more higher vibrational man or girl, my mom, papa, this is why it's so motherfucker important my loves that you be careful about who you have as your cpos you know what i'm saying cpos the close personal relationships those are the relationships where you are being around those people not because you have to be but because you want to be mm. think about what i just said babies those are the kind of relationships that you are around those people not because you know it's by default you gotta be around them or anything like that babies no it's because that you really actually want to be around those people so whether if it comes to like friends your home girls your homeboys or whatever like that or if it's a relationship that you're in with a companion or even if it comes to family members these are relationships we are you are around these people because you actually want to be around them it's not by the fort it's not because you have to be around them no it's because you genuinely want to be around them so if you are a high vibrational person mama papa follow me here and you know like i said you're working on yourself you're really striving you know to get further connected with the logo of the universe you're securing you ain't saying the goals dream aspirations you're accomplishing them you securing your cashy checks uh, <laughs> your bags your dollars you know all of that you're just working on yourself you're finding an a peace you're doing what you love you're enjoying life things in that nature wouldn't you want to be around people babies that match that same kind of energy mm. wouldn't you want to be a wow motherfuckers out there that's matching that same type of energy you know what i'm saying you don't want to be around people that like we just briefly talked about babies that as i'm more of a lower vibration they're not connecting with the logo of the universe. They don't give a fuck about connecting with the logo of the universe. They're not working on themselves to become a better man or a better girl. They don't want better for themselves at all. They have just really negative energy, negative insane vibrations, negative moods, negative spirits and things of that nature. They always looking down upon motherfuckers. They always trash talking people, shit like that. They're not really focused on the goals, dreams, aspirations. They ain't shit like they're just, they're the total opposite of you. Now, with people like that, let me just put this out here, baby. You never look down upon no motherfucking body you are. And this is something I talk a lot about on my channel because, you ain't shame, this is one of my facts of life. You can't look down upon people. You can't judge people just because they are not on the same vibration as you or in the same lane that you're driving on. At the end of the day, like I always say, mama, papa, you got to respect motherfuckers for where they at and not for where you want them to be, baby. But at the same damn time, you don't got to put yourself in that motherfucker lane that they're driving on. You don't have to involve yourself at that vibration that they're in, mama, papa. Or because that's what they're deciding to be and lead them in what the fuck they're doing. That's the business. And it's not to say that they won't ever get out of that vibration. It just may not be that time. It may not be the, you know, the divine timing for them to elevate and ascend past that. Or it may be the case where shit, they will never get out of that shit because they will never desire to do better. At the end of the day, a lot of the universe will guide us. But we all got free will at the end of the day, big do work. So you got to make the decisions for yourself on what you want to do if you want your life to get better. And that's just, that's, <laughs> you ain't saying like, 
that just is what it is. So you don't look down upon people like that. I'm not saying that all oh, you look down upon people. You say, oh, shit, you know, they, you know, they does, they that, fuck them, da, 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 da. No, you don't got to do that. You can't take a mental note that that's not a man, that's not a girl that you really want to have, like a CP or a connection with, a close personal relationship with, because you know that the vibration is not at the vibration as yours. And that's not looking down upon them. That's not talking down on them. That's not judging them. Hell no. That's just stating the facts of what a log of the universe is showing you. And you know that in order for you, baby, to continue to ascend and to go and to change and to elevate to a more higher vibration over time, you got to slow around yourself mama papa around those same kind of people that's going to match that same motherfucker energy oh hell yeah <laughs> and that's straight facts no cap on my rap my do my go because that energy is going to go around that energy is going to transfer that's why they say you are who you attract you have to make sure that those people that you have in your inner circle, they are a reflection of you, baby. And you are a reflection of them. It does not necessarily mean that, you know, the people that you have as your CPOs, y'all going to be identical twins. Y'all going to like every single thing the same. Da, 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 da. Like, no, at the end of the day, everybody is their own person. You ain't saying everybody's unique. A lot of the universe made us all unique and our own different image. If he wanted all of us to look identical, he would have made every single human being look identical. You ain't saying? So it's not to say that the people that you have in your CP or your close personal relationships that, oh, you ain't saying, they got to have the most identical personality as you they have to like the exact same things as you it's not to say that but they have to be at the same high vibrational level as you or higher <coughs> poet you know what i'm saying because if you have those low vibrational energies in your cp or i'm talking close personal relationships <laughs> I'm not talking about associates. I'm not talking about motherfuckers out here that you are around because you got to be around them by the fourth. It's not really like you have a choice, but they're just around. You know, no, I'm talking about motherfuckers out here that are your close personal relationships. You got to make sure that those energy levels that that person carries and yours is the same or they carry higher vibrational energy you know because energy as well baby it transfers at the end of the day and it goes back to what we were talking about that if you are already on that path mama papa well you really are by the grace of a logo the universe doing good for yourself not saying you're perfect you know but you really are really striving you need to make sure that you you around people that are that same type of vibration. Period. You know, to make sure that the, the energy and the vibrations that's going around when you have those close personal relationships, they are the same on the sense of the vibrational energy that's being transferred. See, if you don't have someone that's at that good vibrational energy as you or babies, you're going to have lower vibrational energy being transferred to you. And that is how it can drain the fuck out of your high vibrational energy. And before you know it, you're going to start seeing things manifest in your life from a negative aspect. And it's because you're having motherfuckers around as your close personal relationships that's not even in the same vibrational, you know, level as you, you know? So you really have to be very careful about that, my mom, papa. Again, it's not at all about looking down upon people. We don't judge. <laughs> it ain't saying like, if it's one thing, I don't judge on my channel. That's like a rule on this channel. Like, we don't judge at the end of the day. We just say motherfucking facts. 
of the situation. But at the end of the day, motherfuckers is the dose nowadays. Everybody got their own motherfucking course to Kali. Everybody got their own bag. You ain't saying? So what the fuck you put in your bag, that's your business. That's what the hell is up to you. So we don't judge, but at the end of the day, we're just stating facts, mama, papa, of the situation so that we, you can know as a man, as a girl, why it's so important that when you're talking about having these CPOs in your life, these people match the vibrational energy that a law of the universe is either ascending you to or already has you on. So, I hope this helps, loves. <laughs> I hope this, hope this, hope this helps, my loves. Remember, BBs, when it comes to close personal relationships, you know, it can be with anybody. It can be like, who are you, Yang Shane, hang with all the time? You know what I'm saying? Who you are hanging with all the time. Who you're talking to on a regular basis. We are the conversations. Again, it's not coming from like an association standpoint. But no, it's coming from someone that you really like. For like that you can trust. That you can open up to. Like, you know, who are you doing that with? What type of friends are you doing that to? You know what I'm saying? Are you doing it to really loyal, trustworthy friends that's really trying to, you know, by the grace and the most high, like really do good for themselves as, as you're doing for yourself by the grace of a logo, the universe? Or is it, or are you gossiping or cooking the shits or whatever like that? Some motherfuckers out here that's running their mouth to every damn body that's in a ton of motherfucking drama. They always love chaos and confusion and things of that nature. When you're in relationships, when you're, you know, in these relationships or situationships or whatever the case like that, who are you being associated with? Are you being with motherfuckers that stress you the fuck out you? Are you being with motherfuckers that got you a toxic ass relationship dynamics and things of that nature and it's just going wild the wild the wild and it's never getting any better or y'all just start talking and you see the word flags, but you're ignoring them, whether if that's a man or a girl. You know, like, who are you involving as a close personal relationship with when it comes to your relationship dealings? When it comes to family members, are you, like, really hanging around, talking to on, like, a more consistent basis heavily where you actually trust these, you know, family members are you doing that with people that are very loyal that has proven the true loyalty to you as family loyalty to you <laughs> as family or are you like sitting up here talking to family members hanging around family members that's chaotic as fuck toxic, toxic as hell they're not trustworthy you know, they look down upon you or they look down upon other people. They always talking shit about you behind your back or to your face. You know, like, you have to really ask yourself, my loves, who the fuck do you have your close personal relationships with? It's okay sometimes, you know, if you have situations where you know that you can't have somebody as a close personal relationship so you put up boundaries you know what i'm saying like you put up good boundaries it's okay to be that way don't feel bad mama papa for being that way you have to protect your peace at all given cause yeah she like i'm sorry <laughs> that's the truth you got to protect your peace at all given cause because that really contributes a lot to who you are you know as being a high vibrational person it's not to say that everything in life is going to be rainbows and sunshine but you know you want to attract more good life experiences into your life than negative life experiences you know what i'm saying and i've talked about this on my channel before when it comes to duality, mama and papa, duality is something that we can't get away from. 
because it's a universal law of nature in life you're gonna have good life experiences my love that you are meant to learn life lessons from and then in life you're going to have negative life experiences that are fated to come into your life to learn lessons from as well you know you you're gonna have both my loves and it's because a logo the universe helps you to you know grow and change by going through both ends of the duality of the positive and then the you know the not so good the negative life experiences that's needed to happen so it's just the way that a logo the universe permits things to occur in life so that way babies yeah, you saying you can't become that stronger, more, you know, well-grounded person so that way you can't grow and change because you're learning things over time. You know what I'm saying? Through the good and the bad side of duality. But with that being said, <laughs> you don't want to like get into this this habit of like where you have more of the bad side outweigh the good and it's coming from not really more so faded things that's meant to happen that might come from the negative life experiences but it's really coming from like bad karma that's coming into your life consistently and that bad karma is happening because there's different things in your life that is happening from a manifestation standpoint of what you're doing that is causing bad things to come into your life a low good universe is permitting more bad things to come into your life to get your attention to the fact that you gotta change shit yeah ain't shit so what does that's people places or things and this is why my loves i'm talking to you all about the fact of cpos these close personal relationships because i'm gonna tell you Girl, fellas, <laughs> I'm going to tell you, when you are associated with people that, let's say they got bad karma. So I'm going to give you a couple really, really quick examples. Let's say you're in a relationship with somebody that has bad karma on the lane. Because they've done a lot of bullshit, a lot of fucked up bad shit. And they continue to live their life like that. Like I said, they're not at a high vibrational level as you. They're at a lower vibrational level. And let's say, mama, papa, you continue to actually stay in that relationship with that person. You know what's going to happen? Their bad karma is going to get written in your life. It's going to get sent to you. Now, you may be thinking, baby girls, fellas, you may be thinking like, well, why the fuck would they bad karma happen to me? That's what they did and they're like, yeah, but you're attached to them. You're attached to them. You're in a relationship with them. You're, you have a personal, a close personal relationship. You have a di direct link to them. So because you have that BB from a spiritual, a mental, an emotional, psychological, <laughs> an energetic level, that energy of what's going on in their life from bad karma is going to transfer to you. A lot good universe is going to permit it to occur in your life because you're, a, you're surrounding yourself around somebody that's at that low vibrational energy. You know what I'm saying? It goes the same thing for friends. If you are having a close personal relationship with somebody that let's say they are in bad karma, real bad karma, and their lives consistently, consistently reflected because they continue to do fucked up shit that's going in their life. And let's say you have close personal relationships with those people. Their bad karma is going to also transfer to you. <laughs> yes. That's what the fuck I said. Yes. I said it. Yes. I said it. <laughs> the bad karma is going to transfer to you as well because you have close personal linking relationships with them so along with the universe is when somebody is getting bad karma and their life depending on what the fuck the most high decides to like rule as the karmic judgment it can be passed upon that person whoever's around them and whoever was involved and whatever it is that they're getting bad karma for. 
So if you are somebody that's constantly around them from a close personal relationship standpoint, oh, bitch, my dude, you are definitely going to take on that person's bad karma. And the same thing goes for family members as well, baby. So this is why I'm saying my loss. I ain't just ain't saying like a bitch not just seeing the shit just to see it it's very important that you watch who the fuck you have as your cpos as your close personal relationships and you know you need to let go of that toxic ass motherfucking relationship because it's bringing you down mama and papa then you need to let that shit go and you know that it's something friends that you need to again shame either cut out your life completely or you need to put up serious ass boundaries where it's no longer close personal relationships it's just you know maybe associations but that's it or you just gotta cut them out completely you need to do it baby if you you know know that there's certain family members that you you know you need to put them still we inside boundaries up we are does not a close personal relationship you need a motherfucking do it my loves because at the end of the day if a long good the universe is revealing this to you mama and papa through your answer washing through signs think with entities and gut feelings letting you know that you need to make a change when it comes to the people that you're having personal relationships with close personal relationships with that you need to do it baby you need to do it because that could truly affect you and again my loves it's not about looking down upon nobody it's just understanding that shit like at the end of the day you got to be an adult you gotta be a motherfucking adult in your life you know what i'm saying like at the end of the day the only person that can judge is the logo the universe so it's not about judging those people, but bitch, my dude, be a be an adult in your life, baby. You know, don't let these don't let people out here control you and what you know you need to do for your life of what a logo the universe is showing you what you need to do, baby. So make the best decisions for you. You know, make sure that your vibrational levels of you know who you're allowing as your cpr they reflect you you know they're going to bring that peace they're going to bring that happiness they're going to bring that motivation they're going to bring that inspiration because that's the same shit that you are bringing to it as well you know they're going to bring that guidance they're going to bring just that friendship they're going to bring that unconditional love they're going to bring that unconditional respect you know y'all gonna hold each other accountable y'all gonna have good times you know like just whoever you have by the grace of a logo the universe as your cpos make sure my loves that they have a logo the universe energy within them my loves because you as a high vibrational person have a logo the universe energy within you so i love you all so much <laughs> love you i love you i love you all so 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 much please like this video so that way our channel can continue to grow comment below babies let me know like let me know if you are going to you know really start evaluating girl fellas like who you have as your cpos let me know if like you shane you have recently had to kind of like look at things a little differently and that case and really start to say you know to yourself you know i do have to be really careful about who i have as my close personal relationships or if this is something babies that you're going to start doing babies let me know subscribe and hit that notification bell so you are updated when i post my next topic and check out my playlist too i have so many topics in here that you could really 
benefit from. Pretty soon, I'm going to be having a lot of new series that got introduced to my channel. These are going to be new series that you can actually watch, not just listen to through the podcast. I'll bash my do if you follow my motherfucking podcast. <laughs> you are going to love the new series you can watch, mama, papa. It's going to be really live. We're going to be laughing. We're going to be cooking the shit. So it's going to be a whole motherfucking vibe Like a lot of different things that You are going to really love to watch BB. So stay tuned And if you haven't done so yet Go ahead and follow your girl On Instagram My Instagram name is right on my screen So go ahead and follow me mama and papa Because I would love to have you <laughs> About a dear My name is Sharifa Crew, crew, gang, gang, family, what's up? What's motherfucking good? Yeah. <laughs> but until next time, my loves. Peace, love, and light always. Mm-hmm. Later.